Yesterday I was contacted by the police who said they need to see me as a matter of urgency. Their officers are on their way to meet me now. It's Sunday morning and they contacted my solicitor. So my solicitor said it's to do with threats against me, an endangerment of my life on my campaign trial. Um, they'll be here shortly. The thing that's winding me up again is that what I feel that for the past week, threats against me have been encouraged. When I was assaulted three times on my campaign, three times, not one person was arrested. The police actually dropped the Muslim who poured a milkshake over my head. The police dropped him to the train station. No arrest was made. South Wales police, you'll see it now, they actually liked a video celebrating or a post celebrating an attack on me. I face a real threat now for the rest of my campaign trail. And it's been encouraged and celebrated across the country. So um, we spoke with DC Breaknock. Yep. He made you aware of this threat. I'm aware that the police are concerned for my safety, a threat to stab me, to inform a threat. Are they, re um, do they know who that is? I think he said that you know who it is. But are the police aware who it is? Do you know? Are they making an arrest? I think it's, uh, DC Breckenock is responsible for the investigation. So it's um, been crimed and he is looking into it. You see that? I've been advised that I may not take any action to resolve the matter because the last time I had a threat like this, yeah. I told the police, mm -hmm. I said this person's threatened to murder my family. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I sat down, the police said we're doing it, we're going to get him, we're going to get him. I waited 48 hours and then I waited outside the bloke's house. And when he came out, I grabbed him, and then I had to ring the police and say, I've got him. Right. How come you haven't got him? He's threatened to kill my kids. Are the police actually going to arrest him? They're, they're, they're just, they've never, ever arrested anyone, ever, right. for threatening to kill me. Ever. There's not been one single arrest. Like I say, it's DC Brecknock that you need to speak to for mm. any updates. But yeah, I mean, he, he's actively looking into it because he's crime the matter and he's, he's investigating it. So. so this basically is asking me, will I sign to say that if I don't do this, then I'm responsible for my... It's, it's basically that you've been made aware of the threat and that you've been offered safeguarding advice. That's whether or not... Do you, know why, do you know why this is so frustrating for me? Is that, like, I know it's not going to be you, but I was assaulted three times last week and I told police officers, she just punched me, he just punched me, he just stuck a milkshake over my head. Not one person was arrested. So I feel that when I'm asked and being signed this, I'm being asked to, if I agree with this, I'd rather that the police would sign one that just says they do their job, which if someone assaults someone, they get arrested. Because I feel that this, this threat has come from the encouragement that I feel the police, the police have given to attacking me. The police have actually given a green card and said, if you want to hit him, hit him. If you want to throw a milkshake on him, throw one. And that's all been whipped up by the media. But do you, so, if it just so can I, I know it's not even to do with you, but for my point is, South Wales Police actually liked online a article celebrating the fact I was attacked. The police, the, the South Wales online police. So I know, I know like, because even this, a marked police vehicle can be parked. See, honestly, obviously I don't want anyone knowing where my wife and children are. Yeah. So they're not here. But it's just a safeguarding measure. So if you feel that you want a police car then they will. here, then obviously yeah. that's something we can facilitate. It's something that's open to discussion with this. Okay, cool. All right. Yep. So we'll leave you with a copy. I don't know if you've got what your plans are for today, obviously. I think there's the, is it the open top bus thing today? In Luton. Luton. I'm not going. I'm not going. No, I'm going to say if you do, there is an officer there that I think you, you might have spoken to before. Is it PC? Mason. Mason. Oh, Mason, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's going to be there, so if you want to talk yeah. to him about anything, I'm not going. I think he's quite happy to have a chat with you. No problem. All right, All right. cool. Okay. All right, no Lovely. problem. Bye. Bye. See you later. So, the police have been and gone. Complete waste of my time every time. They're just covering all, they're, all they've come for is to cover their own asses. It's like if I get killed, we told you. No, just do your job. Just do your job, that's all I want you to do. Anyone who's followed me for 10 years, how many people have threatened to murder and kill me? How many times have I been assaulted? No one has ever been arrested. No one's ever been arrested. Is that insane? The police, do you know how many times they've come? I've had like eight or nine Osman warnings. They've just come and sit me down and say, yeah, someone's gonna kill you, but we're not gonna arrest them. We're not gonna do anything about it. People are gonna punch you in the face. We're not gonna nick them. 
It just, and I know it's not those individual officers that I'm speaking to, but it's frustrating because they've encouraged it. The police have encouraged attacks against me. Even now, you've got businesses who are offering free milkshakes for anyone who attacks me. The head of the Daily Mirror saying he wants to replace the man's milkshake and shake his hand and make sure that he's okay. You've seen the footage, he was the aggressor. I was attacked all day. It does my head in. I just hope it exposes the so-called freedom that we have in this country on the democratic election campaign. Unbelievable. Thank you all for your support.